God save the king! And welcome back to another episode of Victoria to Horde of Darkness, a Canadian Let's Play, where, as you guys know, last episode we had a major development, which was we beat China again. And we took this. And nothing of China. But we did make them pay war reparations to us, which I think in the long run is going to help us out because then we can kind of like use this time to kind of build up our economy again and just do a lot of things so I'm going to oh I'm going to abuse this so heavily because right now we are in perfect position to just do whatever we want um we cannot declare war on China again the actual Chinese provinces for a while that stinks but what we can do which is what I love is in a couple of years we'll be able to declare war on Yuan and if we want to we could basically take the entire state of Yuan and Right now, if we're not ahead in, in America in population, I will be so shocked. Yes! Okay, good. We finally overpassed the Americans in population. Even though a very tiny percentage, only 15% of our people actually have writing, rights to vote. In fact, wow, we have a lot. We have 44%. I would say a good 77% of our population is Asian, Asian of Asian descent. In fact, Buddhism is actually taking most of our religion, but we still We are still the dominant white men in this place. So Go white men and with that we will unpause it and continue the game. Oh my goodness. We have We have done a dealt a stealthy blow to the Chinese and Chinese people alike and we, we could honestly do so much more. I mean we could Oh, we could do so much more. If I if I did not care about infamy right now, we could do so much more. I mean, we could be like, oh, I could take this state right here of Gunzai. I'm kind of worried though, because they are a little bit protected. Or we could go after a total annexation of Yuan or Mongolia. We could do a complete annexation of Mongolia. Uh, I'm not sure though, because we do need to wait just a little bit, just in case if we do get that infamy. And I should actually honestly save it right now because I don't want to make sure this actually crashes or does anything of um, craziness. Because we definitely don't want to like, boom, crash, done, we're done. Because that would be bad. And Chinese reparations, they're basically keeping us, making us support our entire army. And we can actually disraise some of our own taxes, which is actually not a smart idea entirely. But you know what? Trouble is brewing in Greece, whatever. I don't really care about Greece, to be honest with you. They are not my home country. And they aren't even near my home country. So, you know, I don't care about Greece. And, oh my goodness, we have. <laughs> and Spain, apparently Spain has definitely been working on the Mediterranean. Because they are definitely conquering some Mediterranean territory. And Austria-Hungary has formed again. And the German Empire formed. Wow, I did not know that. So the Germans are now here. And so are the Austria-Hungary. That means, um, well, we're right here, and we're doing pretty good for ourselves, considering that, considering that we really have not had that much industrial power, and we're just kind of like, yeah, I mean, this is, this is just so awesome, and has our ships finally arrived in our new fort territories? We're about to get there. Okay, well, just go right there, then. Oh, whoops. Combustion. You better get there before they, oh, dang. Okay. Go right there. Make sure that we kill them. We want to make sure that they die. Okay. Now you guys are here. Go kill them. Okay. Let's get, um... Um, what do we need? What do we need? What do we need? Um... You know what would be good is if we get a more diplomatic... Oh, I hate this. Oh, shoot. I hate when we have to get revolutionaries. Oh, I know. What we can do is get this. Hello, my biotics so that we get better... Okay, here they come. They're, they just attacked us straight on and they lost. Okay. That that was even fun. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to have to make an updated map eventually about the new Canadian Asian Empire. Um, oh my goodness. We could we, we could severely, if if the infamy will let me, we could severely annex these three, three, three territories and then this and then this and then that. Oh my goodness, this is... I, I, I'm just looking at this with like golden eyes and being like eh, eh, eh. I, 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 I don't know, I should control myself because so many things could go wrong in this like um, First off do I even really want a population of extreme importance? I mean this is while this is a great 
a great buy. I mean, do we really want this territory right here? Do we really want that territory right there? You know, you have to kind of ask yourself these questions when you're going through a territory like this. My honest answer is I wish I could, and I wish my capitalists were much more inventive. So, um, apparently we still don't have enough capitalists in our country, so... Um, what I'm going to do now is... All my national focus, I'm just going to switch to capitalism. Because we need capitalists. That's the only way our country is going to grow. And where was our other national focus? Oh, I know how to do this. Um, capitalist, encourage, capitalism. Oh, wait, no. I could just go to population. Um, scroll down until I find it. There we go. Hawaiian Islands. Oh, yeah, I was encouraging immigration to the Hawaiian Islands. Did that even work? Did that displace the Polynesian people? No, it did not. Not many people moved to Hawaii. Huh. I wonder why. It's just a volcanic ash of disappointment and tourism that's basically all that's in Canada so um I know we have high infamy again so we have to make sure all the relationships are good with America how is America doing with us they're doing all good uh we could probably increase one we can increase a little bit so that they stay happy with us we'll make sure that they do not hate us at all UK how are we doing they eh, they're about the same I don't really need to do anything German Empire well the German Empire uh don't really care about the Austrians Russians, surprisingly, are not completely hateful to us. Does that mean you guys... No, you guys still hate us enough not to form an alliance with us. So is the austria hungries So, um, yeah. Uh, man, this is just so eye-boggling. So much I could do right now. So much I could do. And they just... They, they completely, like, destroyed their nation. I mean, this is like... This is like just pick up everything. Any nation right now could just, like, do a lot of conquests and God is better. I really don't want to be a part of this. Can I just opt not to be a part of this? I mean, it's not even on the same country as me, genderism. It's not even on the same continent as me, and this would be much better if somebody else were to fight this. Um, but yeah, should I go for it? Should I not? Let's see. I mean, it really does depend on luck. That's really what this is. Justify war, establish a protectorate. Uh, Sure, why not? A little bit risky. But I don't really care at this point because right now I am feeling so much of fine, like peace, secularized atheism, moralism, whatever. I don't remember what we usually choose, but this is. Oh, this is so great. This is so great. Just so much conquest I could do right now. It's like eyeball going. I, the only thing that's holding me back right now is my infamy. And if I, hmm, you know what guys, you know what I might do, is I know how to end this series. I've already thought of the way. What I'm going to do in this, hmm, actually I'll tell you guys next episode. This episode, I'm just going to leave it to you guys' imagination how I'm going to end this, how I'm going to end this series. But I think I got an idea of how I'm going to end it. And I think you guys are going to like it. Let me just say that right now. You guys are going to love what I'm going to do. So let's see, uh, Jinduism. Oh, come on, come on, do not get discovered, do not get discovered. We want to make sure we have this territory for future use. And we have every occupied territory. Okay, this is going to be so good, this is going to be so great. Okay, we can actually move into these guys right here. Okay, ooh. And we are gaining, like, a lot of money from, I guess, war and depotaries. Probably from our, also our own economy now bouncing back, now that we've you know had this so let's see total income total expenses actually we would be still making money if we were not in this situation so I'm glad that we would do that I'm actually gonna decrease my thing to 45% because that's gonna be helpful oops there we go so there we go. Now our economy should recover, or definitely should be recovering. And it seems like China is dealing with a couple different revolutionary movements. I wouldn't mind. I mean, China is just... I mean, this would be a good time for the Taiping Rebellion to come along. I mean, this they could probably win against. Or at least, if the AI was smart enough, they could probably win. I'm not sure if they would be smart enough. Okay. Um, the United Kingdom. A Kazakh belly gain a place under the sun against the United Kingdom. Hmm. Could I fight against the United Kingdom? Would I want anything from the United Kingdom? 
Place on the sun from the United Kingdom. Um... There's really nothing I want from the United Kingdom, so no. Like, I really wish, I really wish those events were a little bit better because they honestly don't give you anything you want. They just give you, like, stupid things like, oh yeah, do you want to fight against the most powerful nation in the world and hopefully gain, like, one little tiny island from it? Huh? Really? No, that's not, that's not smart. And right now I have so much money in the bank, I'm, I'm just writing this with such enthusiasm, I mean, Right now my economy is like going crazy and I only get one point what? 1.9 infamy for that. Oh my goodness, this is this is gonna be a lightning war. This is gonna be like a massacre. I don't even have to Oh my goodness. This is this is just too good. So we get to conquest all of Mongolia. <sighs> that means our empire is gonna look like this. What are you talking about? Really? They're doing it now, they're now starting to try to stop me from Gaining what I want, but well, it's already too late. I'm going after everyone. Probably can't. I can't go after Kui because Kui is already allied with someone. Um, they're not allied with anyone, right? Yeah, no one really likes them enough. So I'll be able to conquest them. Cordial. I could probably get you on in my. Probably get you on at some point. So, um, how long has been this episode? Hmm. I don't know, but you know, I'm gonna treat you guys to another Mongolian conquest because you know what? You guys are, you guys are great and deserve it. Actually, you know, it's probably gonna take me. Let's see. It'll take me about five minutes in the next episode. To, no, it probably. Yeah, it's still. I'm gonna do it. So, Mongolia, uh, we we have a, some. We have a proposition for you. You guys are gonna come under our roofs, and you guys are gonna like it. So, yeah, that's how this is gonna work. And if you guys try to resist. We destroy your entire army. Russia's apparently taking advantage of their really big army. Or at least now new big man size and now starting to make some more um, soldiers. That's cool. That's cool. I'm not I'm not really fighting Russia right now, so which actually I should be starting to worry about that because I am a big power, okay? We just took over this. Okay, let's go down here. Okay, we just took over that. Okay, and here comes the Mongolian army. <laughs> oh, the, the, I'll put that in quotation marks. The Mongolian army. And oh my goodness, <laughs> peace, I, immigration, peace, and charity. That's what all of Canada is about. Except when it comes to China, we just beat China up like it's no tomorrow. Okay, so we just like start instantly conquering these territories. So I'm gonna move this right here. We're gonna move this right there. Oh, uh, we got three territories. My guys, yeah, they're gonna take down. They're gonna take down them pretty easily. It's not even gonna be a competition. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're conquering. We're conquering Mongolia right now with such passion and fury that they're not even standing a chance. Wow, we're going faster than I expected. Oh man. Okay, we have almost all of Mongolia's main main place underneath our control. It's almost, it's so great. It's, this is like such a great conquest. Okay. Um, can move down here. Take over this region. And we're almost done with pharmaceuticals and paramedics. That means we'll be able to research even quicker. Which is what, which considering we have a 78% literacy rate, that's pretty good. And 1.95 of our people are clergymen, which is not the best, but that's better than normal. Okay, so now we're going to get revolutions and counterterrorism. That way we can get more diplomatic points, which means then we can use more causes bellies to take over more of China. Ooh, China. China, China. Oh, man, I must I must be sounding so, like, I, I, I don't know the word for it, but I must be sounding really, like, war-torn or something, or crazy, or I don't know. I, I'm... <laughs> I feel like I have to stop now, otherwise I feel like I'm just going to start drooling or something. Okay. And are you guys going to surrender? Because you guys are basically done. Let's see. Acquisition. No, it seems like... Oh! Zenging, you decide to join in with me? You decide to join in with your pals, China, really? Um, that was not smart of you guys. I mean, honestly. <laughs> They're gonna lose anyways, and I can honestly add the causes belly against, you know, uh, taking over you. Which wouldn't be that hard, may I add? 
Taking over you would not be that hard either. Okay. Defeat them. Defeat the rest of these guys. Just they guys. Okay. So I'm moving into their territory because they apparently want me to destroy them too. I don't know why, but they want me to destroy them too. Okay. Got this territory right here. Can move down right here. Okay. Move. I guess I have to move individually. Move the armies. Okay. Got this territory. And are you guys about ready to submit? Because I have your entire territory locked up. Uh, no, it seems like they definitely want me to fight that little Zanging army. Definitely want to add a Cosmos Belly to destroy them. Could I add a Cosmos Belly to add a Protectorate? Do I have to suffer the Infamy hit? No, I could not suffer the Infamy hit right now because that's just its a little bit too steep of a turn because I definitely i want to take over all these regions for less than what I actually have to do. Uh, I'm going to go right here. So that means this region I won't be able to conquer in the future. And Mongolia, you are the sign in peace. I'm guessing you guys want me to annex you guys. So, we have received an offer of the peace from Mongolia. They are offering us the following terms. Annexation. You know, I, I could decide this, but yes, I think that'd be reasonable. So, <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, everyone, we have conquered Mongolia. This was a good episode. I'll see you guys next time.